15 Things You Didn't Know About Tom Ford Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some unknown facts about an American designer who has made a serious impact in the world of high-end fashion. Let's talk about Tom Ford. Tom Ford's introduction to fashion design came when he worked as a design assistant for a sportswear company for two years after college. He was hired at Perry Ellis in 1988, but only worked there for two years before he had the intense desire to move to Europe because he thought Europeans appreciated style more than Americans. In 1990, he was hired by the struggling Gucci company as the brand's chief women's ready-to-wear designer, and he moved to Milan, Italy. By 1992, Ford became the design director and helped take the company back from the brink of bankruptcy to an incredibly successful brand. In 1994, he became the director of Gucci, and then in 1999, he became the creative director of Yves Saint Laurent as well. In 2004, he left Gucci. He then decided to start his own brand named after himself in 2006, and his looks were immediately embraced by the rich and famous. The long list of celebrities that have worn Tom Ford looks include Beyonce, Jennifer Gardner, Anne Hathaway, Tom Hanks, Johnny Depp, Ryan Gosling, Jennifer Lopez, Will Smith, and Hugh Jackman. The luxury brand includes fragrances, skincare, makeup, candles, and more in addition to the clothing lines. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Tom Ford is a perfect example of someone who took their passion and turned it into a multi-billion dollar business. So let's take a closer look at this man and his brand with the 15 things you didn't know about Tom Ford. Number 1. Tom Ford Replaced Brioni as the Preferred Brand for James Bond Ever since the 2008 film Quantum of Solace, Tom Ford has taken Brioni's spot as the preferred tailor for the world-famous spy James Bond. Tom Ford's elegant looks are worn by Bond in Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and Spectra. Some of the Tom Ford pieces Daniel Craig wears as Bond in Skyfall included a $5,200 Ivory Windsor tuxedo jacket, a $4,086 Tom Ford O'Connor suit, a $4,487 Tom Ford Windsor three-piece suit, and a $2,235 Tom Ford herringbone overcoat. Number 2. He wanted to hide when he heard Jay-Z sing his Tom Ford song in concert. Tom says he already knew Jay-Z before his Tom Ford song came out, and Jay-Z emailed him beforehand to say he was working on a song named after him. When the song came out, he went to a Jay-Z concert and remembers the surreal experience of him being in a stadium full of tens of thousands of people with his name flashing across a gigantic screen and all the audience members chanting his name. He said the experience was very strange and it made him want to crawl under a rock because he's actually a very shy person despite his public persona. Number 3. Yves Saint Laurent told Ford that he had destroyed 40 years of his career in 13 minutes. When Tom Ford took over Saint Laurent, when parts of it were sold to the Gucci Group, where Ford was the creative director, he and Fashion House's founder, Yves Saint Laurent, started off getting along, but that didn't last. As Saint Laurent became more and more successful under Ford, he started getting angry, handwritten letters from Saint Laurent accusing Tom of ruining his reputation. In one letter, he wrote, In 13 minutes on the runway, you've destroyed 40 years of my career. Number 4. He refuses to pay for celebrity endorsements. Tom has never once paid a celebrity to endorse his brand, and he is very proud of that fact. He would much rather have celebrities choose to wear his clothes on their own without any kind of monetary incentive to do so. He does choose to dress certain celebrities because he admires them for one reason or another, but they are not paid to wear his clothing. Number 5. There is a $2 million pair of Tom Ford shoes. Custom jewelry retailer Jason of Beverly Hills created potentially the world's most expensive pair of shoes in 2015 when they took a pair of Tom Fords and covered them with 14,000 full-cut white diamonds, individually set into white gold. The diamonds equal an incredible 340 carats, and the shoes have a value of $2 million. It took nearly a year and 2,000 hours of labor to create the one-of-a-kind style. They were commissioned for Nick Cannon to wear as the host of America's Got Talent for the season 9 finale of the show. Number 6. 
Hayden Panettiere paid $10,000 to wear Tom Ford at the Golden Globes. Tom is known for dressing only one A-list celebrity per awards show, so if you aren't the lucky one chosen but you still really want to wear Tom Ford on the red carpet, you have to be prepared to pay up. In 2014, Hayden Panettiere wore a Tom Ford design for the first time at the 2014 Golden Globes. She said she had been begging for him to design a gown for her, but she ultimately had to buy the gown herself for $10,000 since Tom had decided to dress Naomi Watts that year. She didn't mind the price tag and was thrilled to be wearing the designer's creation. She even said she would wear a plastic bag if it was designed by him. The next day, Tom sent her over a dozen white roses, along with a note telling her she looked beautiful. Number 7. Tom Ford Does Not Want Top Political Figures to Wear His Clothing Tom has stated that although he would have liked to dress President Barack Obama while he was president, he never did and does not think it would be appropriate for the US president to wear a $5,000 suit. He feels the same about members of the British royal family. He did design one dress for First Lady Michelle Obama to wear when she attended a state banquet with the Queen at Buckingham Palace in 2011, and he thought that was appropriate, since he was living in London and the occasion called for some extravagance. However, he's declined to dress current First Lady Melania Trump in the past because he doesn't think she fits with his image. Current US President Donald Trump says he personally doesn't care for Tom Ford's designs anyway, because of course he said that. Number 8. Tom Takes One Bath An Hour If He's Stressed Out Tom has been very open about his OCD, and one of his particular habits is taking a lot of baths. Before his son Jack was born, he averaged five baths a day, but now is down to about three. However, if he's having a particularly stressful day, he will take a bath every hour to calm his nerves. Number 9. Tom Doesn't Usually Carry a Phone With Him Tom says that he hates talking on phones, and cell phones in particular, so he doesn't usually carry a phone with him. He does have an iPhone, but he primarily uses it for music and as a camera. He doesn't even know his own phone number and only uses his iPhone to call people in emergency situations. Number 10. Tom Ford Outbid Beyonce and Jay-Z for a $50 million Beverly Hills Mansion Jay-Z and Beyonce barely lost out on an epic Beverly Hills mansion back in 2016 when they put in an offer of $49 million and Tom Ford beat them with an offer of $50 million. The 1930s era home has 9 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a screening room, a chef's kitchen, a gym, a pool, and a tennis court. But don't feel too bad for Jay-Z and Beyonce. Click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Beyonce to check out the house they did buy, along with some other interesting facts. Number 11. Golden Globes voters were asked to return the Tom Ford perfume they were given as gifts. There was a bit of controversy when the second film that Tom directed, Nocturnal Animals, was nominated for Golden Globes for Best Director, Best Screenplay, and Best Supporting Actor. When the film company Focus Features sent two bottles of expensive Tom Ford perfume to all the Golden Globes voters, they violated a rule that no gifts greater than $95 should be sent to the voters because it might influence their votes. Although the gifts were deemed inappropriate after the nominations had already been revealed, voters were still asked to return one of the two bottles they had received. Number 12. Tom Ford announced that his brand is expanding into the luxury watch market. In January 2017, Tom Ford announced that the brand would be releasing a line of luxury timepieces. The watches will be produced in Switzerland. Tom says watches have long been an obsession of his, and he has been waiting for the right moment to expand his brand in this direction. However, as of October 2017, no release date has yet been set for Ford's watch collection. Number 13. Tom Ford designed over 600 pieces for Justin Timberlake's worldwide tour. Justin Timberlake dropped Tom Ford's name in the song Suit and Tie in 2013. So, in a fitting fashion, Ford created the suits, shirts, and accessories worn in Justin's music video for that song, which won a Grammy. He also designed over 600 pieces that were used for Timberlake's 2020 Experience World Tour. Number 14. Tom listed his $75 million ranch on the market in 2016. Tom Ford's incredible ranch located just outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico, was listed on the market for $75 million back in 2016. This one-of-a-kind property includes the main house, an eight-horse stable, an indoor and outdoor riding ring, a reflecting pool, tennis court, 
two guest houses, accommodations for staff, and a separate home and office for a ranch manager. And that's just the beginning. It also has its own airstrip and hangar for a private jet. And it comes with a film set called Silverado Movie Town that is located on the 20,000 acre estate. Several films have been shot at that location, including Wild Wild West, Silverado, and All the Pretty Horses. Number 15. Gwyneth Paltrow and Julianne Moore are two of his favorite celebrities to dress. In an interview, Tom Ford said that two of his favorite celebrities to design for are Julianne Moore and Gwyneth Paltrow. In 2012, Paltrow was stunning on the red carpet of the Oscars, wearing a white Tom Ford cape dress, and Tom has called that his favorite fashion moment. Now that you've learned more about Tom Ford, we'd like to know, how do you think his clothing compares to his competitors who have been in the market much longer? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. The average time it takes to make one perfect Tom Ford suit is 36 hours. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.